And your next bout of the afternoon, sponsored by DNA Training, takes place in the Bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist representing Phantom MMA, Moraru George! It's a lovely head kick up in the of flight. And the, the black with green trim, landing the groin shot straight away on Moraru George. George is a decorated taekwondo fighter and kickboxer from Moldova. Just transitioned into MMA in the last six months and uh, he's won multiple national titles in Moldova, in Romania, Ukraine. But Rafferty in deep on this takedown attempt. Connected the hands, I think, yeah. And he has George up in the air and down on his back. Can he keep him down on advance that position? Yeah, so this is Dara's third 
fight on your fighting championships. He's fought on every show. He's done the perfect thing that you would expect. You know, he dropped the loss in the first one, worked very hard on what he needed to work on to improve, got a win in the second. Um, has developed a lot of time towards his grappling and his wrestling over the last little while. This right hand position on the shin is being very effective for Dara, but yeah, I'd love to try and maybe move. triangle the calf a little bit to pull out that front leg away. Now he follows him up. Nice take down. Kind of like a trip. Nice knee recovery here from Dara. Very nice. Yeah, he's got his legs back in between him and his opponent, and now he can go on the attack. Not something you see attempted too often in MMA, the old double ankle seat. Yeah, I think the cage possibly saved George from landing on his backside there. He loose with that armbar attempt, and he's given up the end of yeah. position as a result. But I think he, he made the right, he knew when it was gone, you know, and yeah. the worst thing that people can do is hang on there for too long. That's a beautiful right hand. Very heavy, have a heavy hammer fist from George. And there's that attempt again, and George has stopped it by grabbing the fence. Won't get away with too many of those. Working the past the guard of Rafferty. To look for small improvements here, I understand. Dara's taking a few strikes here, a few shots in the head. Quite impressed with his guard retention, his attempts at connecting the knee back to the elbow there, but George has now settled down into a nice side control. Nearly a crucifix type position here, actually. Yeah, George isn't looking too bad in the grappling department for a guy who's only recently transitioned to MMA. well from Rafferty regaining that half guard he could come out the back door and take the back here yeah if he talks if he keeps the chin tucked yeah, it's okay he's not under pressure but it's not dangerous here so well, it is a head and arm it's definitely a head and arm yeah yeah Dara has his hands connected here on the other side so I couldn't see but uh, say there was a couple right now a couple of worried seconds for Dara Rafferty there Keeping calm, George is still bouncing around on his toes here in the cage, full of energy. Uh, the last time I was mentioning anything about myself, but there's actually a bounty out on me in the gym. Very impressed with Dara there. I cannot be head and arm choked. Uh, I offer multiple free privates to anyone who can head and arm choke me. And Dara has been coming to a lot of the no-gi classes recently, so I'm glad to see that he, he weathered that head and arm storm. Yeah, he did very well, he kept calm, you know yourself, and being stuck in head and arm is all about slowing the heart rate and expending as little oxygen as you can, it just to wear your opponent out, because sometimes the opponent can get caught up squeezing, rather than applying the pressure in the right spot, and uh, he did well to get out, and uh, I refuse to believe that's the last time you'll mention yourself this season. George fired up for round two. Yeah, absolutely. With the half of his corner, very uh, animated. Yeah. Half time, half, I was going to say half time, in between rounds talk there. Woo! Opens up with a spin kick to the body. Will we see some of that Taekwondo style, style striker from George? It does seem that Dara's going to have to rely on his hands here. Yeah. Those kicks are just falling out of range. That's the second or third one he's thrown here. That's a big knee up the middle. Seeing good effective pop grappling from George in this yeah, fight. Yeah, no, over. definitely, and he's, he's he's just sometimes he's just a step ahead. Here from Dara, he's moving around towards the back. Dara got his his back up against the cage. They are really yeah. important, very fast. Very nice here if you can sink that second hook. You know, and you know, this is such a 50-50. You could be on the back or you could be on closed guard bottom in the blink of an eye.
Kamai here. Darren needs to hang on to the seatbelt position, engage his right foot underneath the calf, and now try to come up and scale the back. But this, just past up now and this gone. change of direction can just leave you on bottom side control just like that. They fish with the triangle on the way out, but it's gone again. And George passes that guard again. And that's something that George has done very well in this fight, whether it's triangle or armbar, armbar attempts, attempts, much like Alex Fagan earlier on in the night. He knew just when to pull out at the right time and leave himself in the side control position. Yeah, you, you, you can't hang around in there. You've got to move fast and do it at the right time. Lovely knee up the middle again. Rafferty working hard to get this top position again. Seen on the single, runs the pipe, gets his opponent down. Button loses top position. Nice wrist control from Dara Rafferty. He's on the wrist. He's trying to defend it here. If I'm George, yeah, George is scrambling. I think he knew that he wasn't going to get the full bite on it there. But a nice progression towards the back of Dara Rafferty here. Dara makes his way to the cage. Double two and one fights. Hand fight, sorry. Hey, what a throw from Dara Rafferty. Maybe a bit too late in the round, too close to the cage to be able to do anything of note. 30 seconds, we've just heard it from George's corner. See where this elbow is here, Paul. I think there's a lot of short arm bars that can be done here. Uh, busy round two draws to a close. Yeah, great fight. The man of many shirts of the evening, Decky McAleenan, promoter of your fighting championship in the corner of Dara Rafferty. And a thing to note from Mark Carmel's performance earlier on, uh, Rory Lavery, the main event of the evening, is one of the ones that's helped Mark with his striking so much. It's great to see him in the corner for Mark's win earlier on as well. I think George is going to have a lot of out of him here. Sorry, Paul. I pressed the mute button by mistake there. But we can we can we can uh, address the technical issues involved with this promotion. You know? Yeah. It's okay. We're allowed to. It's all right. We're in charge. We're on our own platform. You know what I mean? We are our own platform. That's fine. And yeah, George's corner really getting them fired up That's again. Way to go. I need that man in my life. Yeah. That's who you need at five o'clock in the morning when your alarm's going off. Absolutely. Get you pumped. You'd imagine Rafferty now needs to uh, do something decisive in this round, maybe to yeah, definitely take this fight back. George has expended a lot of energy in those first two rounds. Drives George to the fence. Yeah, I think a little easier this time. You can see the bit of fatigue in George. Yeah, I was about to say that, Paul. Great view. I think he. Uh, I think that last round took a lot out of him, to be honest. Beautiful. There's a cut. There's a cut of Dara Rafferty's eye. I think, and it's uh, it's bleeding pretty heavy. And a cut above the eye is never good because that can cause problems with the vision. Yeah. Oh my goodness. So he might need to get a hurry on and get something done here if he can. I wonder if it was uh, I wonder if it was from the cage. Do you know that? I wonder if it was from running the tech down there to the cage. Yeah. It may have been like um, George's coaches were very animated with the first couple of strikes that were landed in the round. It could have been one of those. That's a really strong frame with the right hand from Dara Rafferty under the head. He just needs to keep trying to turn on to his side of his hip a little yeah, bit more. Giving it up now, so now he's flat on his back and he seems to have momentarily accepted the position. He needs to get that arm back in front, which he's working to do now. Nice. Yeah, he's he's really really well, well done. Again, George's passing has looked pretty effective in this fight so far. looking for a north-south choke here of some description he has the hand underneath Dara's uh, right arm is what's blocking him from connecting the arms properly here and now he's feeding the left hand in as an underhook as well it could create a scramble here if I'm George I'll be looking for a Darius with the right hand overhook coming up now to the top but and I think he heard you because he's fishing now it's gone Dara does well 
gets back to the feet. As we said, he needs to put something decisive here if he wants to snatch this fight back. And I don't know how this is coming across on the broadcast, but this is an electric atmosphere in here. A lot of hometown support winning on Darryl Rafferty at the last hurdle of this third round. He is going to need something to pull it out of the bag. It just gets trickier when there's blood and sweat to consider to absolutely to get submissions from this bottom position. He's still working for him nonetheless. There's an arm here, there's an arm trap. Yeah, George doing a good job so far, but that elbow is in quite deep. If he can get his left leg across the face, which is there's an arm here. A there's an arm team. here. We could see an arm oh, seconds seconds left in the round. George going to keep him stacked just enough to eke out a victory. Life. A dramatic finish and a kick, an up kick after the bell. Not sure what happened there. In the interest of transparency, Definitely, Dara Rafferty threw what seemed like a bit of an up kick towards George at the end there. Not sure what was said between the two. I'm sure in a few minutes we will see a handshake. Everything settled. No issue between the two fighters. A very good back and forth fight. For, uh, for a decorated striker, George really was able to show excellent grappling throughout the fight. Lovely retention and recoveries from Dara. Throwing up a couple of nice submission attempts. We didn't really get to see too many clean striking exchanges from either. But we we'll pass it over to Paul Brown in the cage, who is collecting the judge's decision. Scorecards for a decision. The judges score this bout 29 28, 30 27, and 30 27 for your winner fighting out of the blue corner. Mara!